Hello everybody, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I was not able to actually upload yesterday because when I went to actually go and upload the video, the file was gone and I was like, I usually back up stuff on my hard drive in case that ever happens, but it was just that one time where I was like, oh, it's not gonna happen and then it happened, so. Anyways, so we are here today to talk about the Benji and JJ situation once again since my original explanation video of what actually happened with the allegations, the responses, everything like that, just explaining a lot more in depth about it. Uh, it was actually, yeah, taken down. I have explained this a couple of times. People are still asking me where the video went. So obviously not every single 60,000 one of you are going to know what happened to the video, but pretty much what happened was I had woken up um, 14 hours later when I did upload the video and it was from Team YouTube. They said that you had 48 hours to delete the video, channel strike or whatnot. So I was like, Okay, well, I gotta delete the video then because, you know, I want to keep my channel so that I can shed more light on to more disgusting situations like these. We're going to have that thing um, from time to time where videos do get taken down. Anyways, what has happened is that Benji had issued an apology note. It was last week, I believe. And pretty much everybody was up in arms about it because he was hospitalized after the allegations came out because he had first actually denied the allegations saying that they were untrue. JJ had left him at the hospital all alone. He tried to attempt. And then he was saying that the FaceTime situation was very true, of course, but there was other parts that apparently weren't true. It was very, very confusing. And the reason it's confusing is because he was talking about, I'm guessing, another account that had came forward with allegations that apparently weren't true. Now, the original Twitter account that actually came out with these allegations, they were actually an anonymous Twitter account. But what had happened was the account was suspended and I found that very, very weird, you know, because there was videos here on YouTube, including mine, that were taken down because of this situation. The problem with this situation trying to be hidden is that it's not a privacy concern. It's not a privacy matter where, you know, uh, something of someone's private life had come out, like such as just say that I was to put in a video where an influencer lived. That is a privacy concern. That's a privacy matter. So of course a video would be taken down if I put an influencer's ad address in it. Now we're coming to the point in the video where I'm going to be reading JJ's apology, apology, where he apologizes for his actions. Now let me just preface this before I even read it, is that it is no one's right to accept this apology, accept the victim. Now I understand if his fans are like, I accept your apology or whatnot, because fans are a reflection of who the influencer, the famous person, the celebrity is. If the influencer is very mean and nasty, then their fans are going to be very mean and nasty. If an influencer is very, very positive, uplifting and happy and all of that kind, whatnot, then that's what the fans are going to project as well. The fans are also going to be positive, kind, happy, nice, all of the above. So now let's get to the apology note. And I just wanted to put that out there because, you know, I understand people want to forgive their idol. But this is not a mistake. It is a crime. I will be reading it in full. I will also be putting a timestamp right here where you can skip if you have already read it. First of all, I'm sorry for taking this long to talk. I apologize for being so irresponsible managing this very important situation. I do understand what grooming is and how damaging it can be to those affected and why it's so important to address it. This is not my story. I am not the victim. I just want to address the situation. In cases like these always believe the victims first, their words are important. I have made very wrong decisions and I do not condone them now. I understand how it was wrong and I am sorry. I always tried to be the best person I knew how to be at the moment. I tried to apologize personally to the person before. Now I do it publicly as well, not just to them, but also to the whole movement that I fully support. 
Apart from talking to a minor, I involved Benji. I lied about things he said and manipulated him into all of this. I was not aware of how my words and actions were hurting both of them, neither how manipulative I was being. I acted in a very childish way, not taking this situation seriously, neither thinking of the consequences. I hurt the person I cared for for the most and ended ruining a friendship. It was never my intention to hurt either of them. I'm sorry. All these actions I once took were wrong and it would be unthinkable for me to do them now or ever again. I take full responsibility of my actions and I want the people affected to feel that their words are heard. I did not want to ignore this or invalidate the feelings of the person involved at any moment, neither make them feel guilty or that it was their fault. Consent with a minor is not consent. Most cases like these are unaddressed or ignored and I don't want this to be one. I did sexually talk to the affected person and involve Benji without his permission as well as pressured him into it. I'm sorry to both. I will never repeat these actions. I'm aware of the consequences of my actions and I want to make sure I don't hurt anyone like this for my own decisions ever again. Neither hurt someone like what Benji was to me. I will be getting all the help I need and stepping aside of social media. I never meant to hurt anyone. I'm sorry. Now, this this whole apology got very mixed reactions. It got reactions from fans like, I forgive you and, you know, I'm sorry you're going through this. And then, you, you know, you have other people at the end of the table who are like, you know, this is actually a crime, this isn't a mistake, this isn't tea, this isn't drama. And, you know, I'm going to have to sit at the end of the table there because even though these are nice, pretty, well thought out words, talking to a minor like that, acting with a minor like that, doing things to a minor like that, it may have not been physical, but it definitely was something and enough to actually put someone in jail for a little bit, I believe, because that's disgusting. What happened was gross and you don't get a free pass to do these things because you have numbers because you are you know famous or whatnot you don't get a free pass these words i've seen time and time again they are very well thought out um it <laughs> it took a while for this to come out you know it wasn't instant it wasn't just something like two days later where benji actually you know and i'm not you know giving him brownie points or credits for speaking so quickly on the situation. But what I'm trying to say is that this is very, very well thought out. Um, and they're, they're very much words that everybody wants to hear. The I'm sorry, the I'm taking full accountability and all of that. Because <laughs> let me get this straight. Apologies are great. They are great for mistakes. When I see influencers and stuff apologize for stuff, even me, when I mess up in some videos on here where I don't get the information correct and I'm genuinely sorry and there are influencers out there who are genuinely sorry, it's so different because they're mistakes and this is like a crime so you know that's my take from it take what you will from this video but that's pretty much all I have to say about it now that's where I come to the end of the video and I ask you guys what are your thoughts and opinions on this entire situation I would love to know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below don't forget to follow my Instagram at Caitlin Stewart for updates but you'll get even more updates on my Twitter anyways at drama queen yt Anyways, I love you all. Thank you for joining and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.